three that are going through from Cardiff are Vision Games, Helpful Peaks, and Alka Centers. So thank you. <laughs> the second announcement is that from Northern Ireland, Brainwave Bank and Cradle are also going through. <laughs> These events uh, could not happen without a, a huge number of people uh, coming together. It's, it has been a, a remarkable um, uh, day. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and coming to see um, different parts of the country, to see how different parts of the country uh, deal with innovation and with um, uh, startup communities and uh, deliver on this sort of help uh, is remarkable. So thank you all very much indeed for your participation. The British economy continuously needs to innovate. And one way of doing this is by increasing the connectivity between business leaders and entrepreneurs. Therefore, I founded Pitch at the Palace in 2014 to fulfill this need. Twice a year, we search across the nation to find the brightest entrepreneurs. We then select 42 and put them through workup and a boot camp, giving mentoring and training. 12 from the 42 are then invited to pitch their idea at St. James's Palace to an influential audience of business leaders, mentors and investors. The pitch itself is a, as it were, an introduction. The real challenge is being able to convince the person that you're talking to face to face that you can actually deliver on what it is that you promised. We represent Just Milk, developing a novel device for administering life-saving drugs and nutrients to breastfeeding infants. The impact we've had so far includes supporting 247 companies who have created over 637 jobs. We've created a network of entrepreneurs who now receive ongoing support from Pitch at Palace organization and also each other in order to grow and scale their businesses. Companies like Hello Soda, who have now expanded into Thailand and the United States. Yo-Yo, who have received partnership with Cafe Nero. Magic Pony, who recently sold to Twitter for $150 million. Squirrel, who have secured partnerships with O2, the NHS and London City Airport. And Vocal IQ, who was recently acquired by Apple. And we've calculated that the entrepreneurs that Pitchett Palace has supported have generated £246 million of new economic activity. What began as a local initiative has become a global journey with events so far in Estonia, Malaysia, Mexico and next year in the Middle East, Australia and China. All of them promoting the United Kingdom as a key market and providing opportunities for our entrepreneurs to connect with overseas investors. In just two years we've shown the power of Pitch at Palace to convene, connect and develop the next generation of businesses and entrepreneurs and we've just begun. And entrepreneurs, I think, are, 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 are a very, very important element of the UK's economy. If we want to be a prosperous country, we're going to have to support those young businesses. And so the reason for doing this is because we have a huge talent pool of young people who need to be given that encouragement that starting their own business and being an entrepreneur is something that not only is good for the country, but it's good for them. The people who are um, in the audience cover finance, they cover business, they cover customers, they cover um, mentoring, they, they advice. So all that bit is done by the audience, not by me. And all I am doing is bringing the two parties together in a, in a, in a, in a red room. I haven't made any um, selections at all. I stay well out of the way of being the one that makes the decisions. We've, we've put together um, um, a very comprehensive group of people. Um, they are different each time uh, to judge and to make comments and, uh, and to decide. Um, and I think that's a great deal safer than me doing it. We 
are at the fabulous St James's Palace. We're here for the Pitch at Palace event. This is the second event that we've, we've conducted. The first one was quite small, this one's quite big. So the Duke adds a lot of credibility to what we do. As young entrepreneurs, it can often be difficult to get going. The process of pitching, honestly, is quite terrifying. It's... sorry. That was pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> So this evening it's the main event. There are 12 companies pitching here. Last week we saw 36 and we reduced that down to 12. They all address a real human need. They're actually solving important problems. I think they've all had incredible training. The boot camps have gone incredibly well. And I suspect that they've been practicing and rehearsing all week to get it ready for, for tonight. After the feedback, I ripped up my pitch and I started again. It's really amazing to be here, like I feel really privileged just to even be in this room, let alone be pitching in front of 300 really sort of high profile people. We've got people from venture capital, we've got businesses, we've got people who are part of private equity, we've got people who are angels in their own right. A really tough crowd to stand up in front for anyone. If nothing else, they have an amazing experience networking and with a bit of luck one of them will really shine, it'll make it easy for the whole audience to judge which the best is. Today is a unique day in the life of Buckingham Palace and St James's Palace. We're encouraging you to um, use your electronic uh, gadgetry. As a result of that, I have decided that there is a bit of a thing going around at the moment about selfies. Everybody ready? Good. Imagine the future with one device that you have chosen to build. Simple is about web design for the rest of us. From a tiny drop of blood if their child is autistic. Essentially, we take wastewater, turn it into clean water and money. You know, people think they're in these desperate situations and they will never get out of them. But that's just simply not true. We're only six and we're personalizing the web. What's next? What do we need? Why are we here? And the truth is we need you guys. Uh, I think the pictures did an amazing job. It was light, it was informative, but also at times it was funny. So it was a really incredible job they all did. If you take your smart mobile device out to vote. Votes are in. We have four joint firsts for commercial potential. So congratulations to Simple, to Block, to industrial psychology and to only six. We're really proud to have won jointly the best commercial pitch award for Simple. We're delighted with that. I got the award for most disruptive. I'm guessing that's because we caused a bit of chaos out in the communities. And so we're out there, you know, finding the young people, getting them out of the hostels, the care homes, and engaging them in some form of education. The top pitch, according to your vote, was Yo-Yo. Uh, I had a very particular ask about uh, personal introduction to Joey Ford, the founder and CEO of Cafe Nero. Um, so if that comes off, I'd say it's been very successful. If it doesn't, it's, it's been a great evening. I got like a, like a, a pack of very interesting people who have given me their, uh, you know, their cards, and I can't wait to really kind of get into that conversation with them after the event. Yes, somebody's come up and uh, offered me a ten thousand uh, pound grant, so that they were going to give me. So that's fantastic. It's been great to meet so many people, and it's been super relevant to what we're doing. We've got a load of meetings lined up off the back of it, and it's just been great. I'm eternally grateful to the, the, the huge number of supporters and, and partners that we have, because I couldn't do this on my own, but I have a wonderful uh, ability of being able to bring this facility and the, and the convening power um, and bringing everybody together. They've done such a fantastic job. I'm really grateful this evening. And if there's one thing that is going to change the world, it's connectivity and understanding other people.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for what you can do and what you have done just by being here. Thank you all very much indeed.